Greetings and welcome to today's session. Uh, today we are going to be looking at uh, 840 stroke 1, that is ICT paper 1 O level for the new curriculum. And specifically, we are going to revise CUBS ICT Resource Center paper. Uh, some schools did it as mock, others did it as an external resourceful paper. So this is the paper, paper one, and uh, we have been looking at elements of construct. We have seen uh, how many numbers candidates are supposed to do. So briefly, when we look through the instructions, this paper consists of two sections, A and B. It has five examination items. Section A has two compulsory uh, items. Section B has two parts, part one and part two. Answer one item from each part. Answer three examination items in all. Any additional items answered will not be scored. So all, exam all answers must be written in the answer booklets provided. So when you look at uh, section A, this item is compulsory, and we are seeing that item one, James runs a small grocery store where he manually keeps track of sales and inventory in a ledger. He often faces challenges in tracking stock levels and generating sales reports. A friend suggested using a computerized system to manage his store more efficiently. So you can see these are uh, the support materials, which we normally call the stimuli. The materials are here. You can take time to identify those ICT tools, take time to understand them. So from there, James received a catalog with various ICT tools that could help automate his store operations, but he's unsure which tools to use. So task, task A, guide James in selecting the appropriate ICT tools to improve his sales tracking and inventory management. B, advise James on how to keep the ICT tools in good working condition. So that is uh, item one. And this means that with our item one, we are supposed to go ahead and respond to it. So if you remember very well uh, from the beginning, we looked at elements of construct and all that. So before we proceed, I want to remind you that these copies of the of website designing are available. You need to take a copy, one for WordPress, one for Expression Web. These books are available for your grab. Even for the new curriculum books, uh, Senior 1 to Senior 4, all of them are available. And any other resource books that you may need to use in ICT from Senior 1 to Senior 4. Now, when it comes to elements of construct for Paper 1, Question 1, the one that is compulsory, is taken from element of construct one where the learner appreciates and manages the computer system that is the question we are from reading now when you look at this question it is going to have what we call a scoring guide the one that is going to guide us in answering and scoring it so with this scoring guide that i formulated you can see that uh, the competence we are looking at uh, is ICT tools selection and maintenance. So the basis of assessment, if the runner provides uh, a focused selection of ICT tools for sales tracking and inventory management and some of the expected response, the runner should identify and justify four or more appropriate ICT tools, e.g. Uh, a point of sales system, inventory management software, and at least the learner scores one mark for introduction and scores four marks for the body. If the learner identifies three of them, we'll score three marks. If the runner identifies two, we'll score two marks. If identifies one, takes one mark, and if no response, scores a zero. Then more to that, part B, uh, the learner suggests and explains four or more maintenance practices, e.g. regular software updates, cleaning the hardware, etc. The learner scores four marks if he identifies four or more. 
then if the learner identifies three will score three marks the learner suggests or explains two will get two marks if suggests one scores one mark no response no zero i mean no mark then if the learner gives a focused conclusion scores one mark and if the learner produces a formal document scores also one mark a formal document uh, can be a report, can be a letter, can be a CV, can be a proposal. Those are the kind of formal documents we are looking at. But the formal document should have an introduction, body, and a conclusion. So I want us to see how best we can respond to this question one. So meaning that this item is taking uh, 11 marks. So when you look at this guide that I've provided, uh, keep following me on my YouTube channel and in case you need any assistance, these are my contacts. You can WhatsApp me and you get the help. The channel link is here. You can go on YouTube, you type Kakur Bernard and then you will get all the video lessons. So for scenario one, this item one, which we looked at, here is the support material and the tasks are here. So let's briefly answer the question. And I'm sure from question one, in the next episodes, we shall see item two. In the next episode, we look at item three. In the next episode, we look at item four. In the next episode, we look at item five. So you as is to keep checking on the YouTube channel for all these episodes and see how best you can improve with ICT paper one. So when you look at our scenario uh, one, where James runs a small grocery store and he manually keeps track of the records and inventory in the ledger, he often faces challenges with tracking stock levels and generating sales report. A friend suggested using a computerized system to manage his store more efficiently. James received a catalog of various ICT tools that could help automate his store operations but he's unsure which tools to choose. So while answering this question, the support material, the stimuli, should be the first key. You, you need to get your first responses from the support material provided. So you need to identify what are some of these ICT tools that you need to list. So these ICT tools, they include both hardware and software. Now, Let's look at the approach and the responses. So I will get my answer sheet and I say section A, item one. Then I begin. So when I'm uh, answering, I've written section A, item one and given it like a small title. Then I give my introduction. For example, here, in today's digital age, the efficient management of business operations is increasingly dependent on the effective use of information and communications technology, that is ICT. For small businesses like James, like James's grocery store, transitioning from the manual processes to computerize the system can significantly enhance uh, operational efficiency, accuracy, and customer satisfaction. That is my introduction. Meaning that at least here, I will score a one mark for my introduction. Then from there, let's look at the ICT tools that I need to assist James in transitioning one. We can talk about the point of sales system. So when you look at our, when you look at our paper here, this is the point of sales system that we are talking about. All this is a point of sales system. And now here, we are saying James should choose a POS system that integrates sales tracking with inventory management system. This system will automate sales transactions, update inventory levels in real time, and generate sales report, thus enhancing efficiency. So there you know that you have a mark. Then inventory management system. This tool will help James monitor stock levels, set record alerts, and prevent stockouts or overstocking. For example, Astra, I mean uh, Asarta inventory, 
QuickBooks, Zoho Inventory. So when you look at this, which was provided here, that is one type of an inventory management system, even the name was provided. You can even see here on the mobile gadget, it is provided. So these are the examples. I started with that example, then I brought QuickBooks and others. So here you know that you have a Mac also. Then we need a barcode scanner. A barcode scanner will speed up the checkout process and ensure accuracy in sales and inventory records. So when you look at our support material, a barcode scanner is here. This is our barcode scanner. So you can see we have them there. Then more to that, uh, James will need a computer. A computer with sufficient processing power and storage will be essential for running a point of sale system and inventory software. There you earn a mark. And then James will also need uh, a receipt printer. This device will allow James to provide customers with receipts, improving the professionalism of his business. So that one is also a mark, meaning that if the learner has identified four or more points, he's supposed to score at least four marks. Then we have part B. Part B was asking us to advise James on how to keep the ICT tools in good working condition. That is ICT maintenance. So when you look at that, we are supposed also to bring at least uh, five or more so that we can get four marks. So one, we can talk about regular software updates, ensure that all software, including the point of, uh, of sales system and inventory management software is regularly updated to improve performance and security. There is a mark. Then hardware cleaning, regularly clean the hardware components such as the barcode scanner and the computer to prevent dust accumulation, which could cause overheating and malfunction. There is also a mark. Then use of surge protectors, protect the equipment from power surges by using surge protectors or an interruptible power supply. Then more to that, data backup. Because when you look at our support material, we are seeing backup there. And so what does it help? Regularly backup cells and inventory data to prevent data loss in case of hardware failure or any cyber attacks. And lastly on the points, we have user training because you need to provide, uh, James need to provide training to his employees to, effect, to effectively use the new tools. So these are at least more than four uh, points. And these ones, the learner having explained very well, will get four marks. And from there, the learner is supposed to give a conclusion. By adopting the recommended ICT tools and maintaining them properly, James could enhance his store's efficiency and ensure sustainable growth, setting a strong foundation for the future success. So that is a conclusion, and this one will give a learner one mark. So when you, when you look at our one mark for conclusion, then the four marks for part B, the four marks for part A and the introduction, these ones will give us 10 marks for part, uh, for item one. So these are 10 marks. Okay, now when we come back to our presentation, we have seen that with item one, Elana appreciates and manages the computer system. The points we are giving, they are, they are in line with the first element of construct. And the skills we are looking out for are, has the learner identified and mentioned the ICT tools that are relevant? Has the learner explained how they are applied or used? Is there any solution or recommendation in the provided answers? So that means that uh, you are supposed to give at least on part A, uh, if the runner has given the expected response, we said that at least 
must give five or more to score the four marks and then for part b must give five or more responses to get four marks then a conclusion carries a mark as well and the introduction then the format of the document also carries a mark and that is 11 marks in total so meaning that having looked at the format of the document that it is well there is a mark that is added here and therefore the total number takes 11 marks as total so 11 marks as total regarding the format of the document so more to that as we continue looking at this you will find that element of construct one it covers the following topics topic one topic two topic 15 and topic nine so this topic nine are the ones that form element of construct one where the learner appreciates and manages the computer system so in the next episodes we are going to look at uh, item two we also look at item three we look at item four and item five keep checking on the youtube channel for more of the updates remember to take orders of these books to improve your ict skills in website designing and all the other topics jabris